Guys, I'm in Ocala, guys. I'm inside one of, one of three Jeeper Creeper trucks that used in the 2001 movie. And this is one of the owners right here. <laughs> nice. Can, can I hit the button again? Absolutely. Uh-oh, guys. Watch this. Oh gosh, he's, he's creeping on me guys. It's really scary. He's all dressed up right now. And uh, this is all original parts, like from the uh, movie? The, the truck is the original truck from the movie. Uh, it was used in the scene where uh, Jonathan Breck, who plays the creeper, actually reached in and grabbed uh, grabbed uh, the policeman's body and put it in the back of the truck and tossed the head in. That was the scene you can see it definitely. But there were some other scenes that was used in the truck uh, yeah. in the movie, but it's, it all comes out pretty good. Okay, can we do a walk around real quick? Absolutely. I'm coming out of the truck, guys. Is the engine right below me? It, yes, it is. Yeah, so this is a uh, 1941 Chevy uh, cab cab over engine. Yep. So it's going to be right there. And, uh, Actually, talking? you can see it. Can we? We can get right here. Okay. Oh my gosh. So you can feel that vibrating. Oh, Lord, yes. <laughs> can we start from the front? Yeah. I appreciate this, by the way. All right, guys. So here we got the uh, the, the cow the cow pusher. Mm. Uh, two teeth in the front, and uh, you never uh, touched the paint job at all. I absolutely touched the paint job. Oh, did you? Yeah. We, I, the truck was in such bad condition when I originally got it. I yeah. had to take the truck down to the metal and redo it and put new metal on the side because it was so bad you could take the fingers and stick it in the side. Right here. Oh shoot! So I've restored it back to the way it was better than the movie because it runs a lot better now. Uh, last week the motor actually blew and I just replaced it too. Oh my so God. It's, uh, it's running a lot better than it ever has. That's amazing. Uh, I guess we'll go around and see down here. And this is the uh, this is the rear part of the truck. This is the scene in the movie where uh, basically the creeper uh, opens the doors up like this. Yeah. Comes up and then the cameraman's over there. He picks the body up, tosses it in. And then puts his hat on, shuts one door, then shuts the other door, and opens the door and tosses the top head in. Oh my gosh! So, I'm, I'm gonna rewatch that tonight. But if you look at the back here, all the set dressing, as far as the the, the fencing, the wood, all that was done whenever they were filming. All the extra costs in it afterwards. But do you recognize the shirt there? Is that from uh, Justin Long? Yep, that's Derry shirt. Oh my gosh! So uh, we're gonna walk around over here. I got you. Oh, is that license plate original? The, the beating you? Uh, all the tags are. Uh, the, the, this license plate is not the original. Yeah. It is uh, the seventh one that was made in a set that was used in Jeepers Creepers Part Three. Gotcha. So it didn't have any. This tag didn't get any screen time, but it was made at the same time. Gotcha. So they made the other uh, six plate. Okay. Uh, can we walk around? All right. So yeah, it, in the 2001 movie, he thinks it's beating you, but it's actually be eating you. And also, since you're social media and stuff, I've got social media for the truck right here. If you ever have any questions about anything involved in the truck, it's the, the Creeper uh, the creeper, creeper truck at Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, and TikTok. After the Creeper's truck owner did a walk around with me, we took some fun pictures. The truck owner was such a blast to meet. He actually wore a Creeper's costume just to make the whole experience that much more satisfying. We took a bunch of shots from the front of the truck, the side of the truck, and even the back of the truck. He even let me pose with his battle axe. Unfortunately, I couldn't stop the creeper this time. He'll most likely be back in 23 years to feed again.